a shark cave. Oh my god, I think I've been here before. So I'm sitting out here just outside the Armory Reunion, and I'm here with this lovely lady decked out in green. What is your name? Nurse Holly. Nurse Holly. This does not look like a nurse outfit to me. No, she's off the weekends. Oh, I see. So what brings you out to the Armory Reunion? Well, just here celebrating. Uh, I joined the Armorettes back in 1990 when I was about 14. And I've um, been an Armorette ever since, off and on, and love it. And I'm just so happy that you're doing these reunion shows because it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to see some of the old girls come crawling out and seeing the daylight for a long, first time in a long time. Yeah, I know. I, I was... Um I think the first time I set foot in the armory was in uh, 1983, and uh, somewhere around there, in the early 80s, when I first moved to Atlanta. And uh, I definitely have some fond memories of the armory and, um, of course, the adjacent club. I can't remember that big three-story, 24-hour club that was next door, but it was, it was always fun, too. So um, what is your favorite memory of the armory? I'd have to say um, it, it's obviously with the Armorettes and doing some of the shows there and ju just some of the craziness that would happen, particularly backstage. You just never knew what you were going to get um, when you were back there. It was just fun, mayhem, sort of like a sorority gone wild. And speaking of sorority gone wild, I noticed Bubba D just pulled up. Um, is, did you ever Have you ever worked with her? Yes. Uh, Bubba started with the Armorettes, I think, a year maybe a year, two years before I joined the group. So, so she must be close to 30 now. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. She's probably pushing the 30. Maybe even pulling it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so you're out here all decked out in green. Is that something because of the armory, or is it because we're close to St. Patty's Day, or is that just a color that you love to wear? It matches my eyeshadow. It certainly does. And by the way, my corporate colors are purple and green. And you're wearing purple and green. I guess I should go to work with you. you. You probably should. That sounds like a great idea. So what are you going to be doing here today besides having a cocktail? Oh, you'll have to wait and see. It's a surprise. It's, it's a fairly new number for me, so I'm very excited. I see. Is, this an, is it like Moulin Rouge or... Oh, no, no. Think uh, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. And you're going to have a bunch of Oompa Loompas on the stage with you. <laughs> Up under my dress. All right. Is it going to be a longer dress or are you... <laughs> no, they're pretty small. I see. So, for the people out there that have never been to the Armory, the people that are either were too young or did not live in Atlanta at the time or whatever, um, what, can, what can you tell them? What can you say about the Armory to them? I, th I think it's unfortunate the Armory is no longer in existence. Uh, it was a fantastic place. I remember when I moved to Atlanta initially, that was the place to go. It was a great place to meet people. Um, you know, the, the bartenders were fantastic. The crowd was always fun, you know, whether you were there during the week or on the weekends, you were there for the Armorette show or for Falcon Fever. It was just a place to be. Yeah, they always had some good times there. And actually, um, a really good friend of mine that I've known for many years, who is a bartender there, is actually here bartending today, Mitch Grooms. Do you know Mitch? Oh, I know Mitch. I know Mitch. I know Joel. I know all those guys from the Armory. Yeah, I, um, I have the questionable distinction of being the one that introduced Mitch to the classic car world. Uh, when I first met him, I had a 1975 Caprice Classic convertible, and within months of meeting, he went out and bought, I think it was a 73 El Dorado convertible that was the same color as my Caprice. Well, when I moved to Atlanta, I, I moved from Philadelphia in my 76 Plymouth Fury, packed up and moved to Atlanta. So, yes, I know those old cars. They were like tanks. They were just massive and a lot of fun for road trips. They were, and I'm actually hoping to find another one. Um, Mitch is out here today. He's got his, um, I forget what year it is, I think 79 Grand uh, Trans Am. Oh, that's just because he's white trash. <laughs> Did you just call Mitch Grooms white trash? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Would you call him white trash to his face? Sure, it's not mean if it's true. This is true. <laughs> and you got to love Mitch. Well, for me, when I, when I first started, and I did drag, it was a turnabout show. I was, I was a volunteer at 8 Atlanta at the time. And they sent me in the back to get changed. It was before the pump room was built, so it was just back there in the old restaurant. So I just go traipsing back there, and I open the door, and there was Mickey Day bent over putting on pantyhose. Full moon traumatized. Trust me, that's a scary thought. Yes, it, it was It was, It was. was pretty frightening. Uh, but I also got to work with people like Marcella Fay and Misty Waters. Misty took me under her wing and sort of sort of like my drag mother. Helped me, took me the first time to go shopping to buy makeup and pantyhose and all the accoutrements you need um, for a drag. So it was, uh, like I said, it was, it was fun. It was, it was 
we had our moments. There were always those who got along, those who didn't get along. But like any group of uh, sisters, you're going to have that. Right. It's kind of it's more like a, a family, really. And and the legacy has lived on. I mean, I've seen the Armourettes continue to perform many years, obviously, after the Armory is closed. So. You know, obviously, it's something that is a passion for a lot of people that work there and that perform there. Yes, yes. The, um, the Armourettes have been around since 1979. We're the longest-running camp drag group in the United States. Uh, the only other group that's been around as long as us is the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence out of, that started out of San Francisco. They started in 1979 also. Uh, you know, slightly different charters and, uh, and missions. Uh, but, yeah, the Armourettes are here. We're still performing every Sunday night, and we'll be around until they're secure. And I understand you're going to be performing a little bit later uh, just a few blocks from here over at the hideaway. I don't know if you'll be there, but I know the Armourettes will be there. Yes, we, that's where we do our normal Sunday night shows. However, we're doing a special Sunday night show here tonight. So we're going to do some performances early on to entice the crowd, but we're actually doing a show here tonight. So it should be fun. A lot of the, a lot of the new girls and some of the old girls as well. Uh, excellent. Well, we'll look forward to seeing some of the performances and meeting some of the other girls here and uh, seeing where it goes from here. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. So here we are reliving our experience in the islands with a little uh, rum and pineapple cocktail. And we've got another um, iconic Atlanta homo sapien. You are a homo sapien. Homophobia. No, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm afraid of myself. I just scare me. So what brings you out here today? I'm here to see my partner in the Armourettes come out here and perform the uh, the Armory anniversary. Is your partner an Armourette? Yes, he is. I see. And uh, will he be performing on stage today, or is he just performing for the audience uh, and crowd level? On stage. On stage. He's here for the audience. You know, they do a lot of good works here in the community, so this is a great revival of the, uh, the past and showing people what they're all about. Now, have you ever been to the Armory? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You must have been like what, twelve? God, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, like wait a minute, let me see. Okay, yeah, yeah, about twelve. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not talking centimeters. <laughs> no, not at all. No. So, what's your favorite memory of the armory? Uh, the fact is, I'm like, I think this contributed. I have no memories except for pleasant ones of uh, finding the right Joe at the time when I really needed to have some fun. I see. So it's kind of like a mild euphoria, almost like. Uh, flashback of an acid trip or something you're just kind of thinking oh that that was a good place you couldn't have said it better <laughs> did you did you spend much time at the armory uh quite a bit actually i was a uh, bouncer over at backstreet atlanta back in 99 2000 somewhere between 2001 i think somewhere between those two years i'm not sure which <laughs> really those those days go kind of by in a flash you know? yeah it's kind of a blur to everybody we've gotten a lot of people that have said you know I, I love the armor. I said, what do you love about it? They said, well, I don't remember. It was so much fun. It just kind of faded, you know. And I guess it was that way for you, too. Man, it fades quickly. Uh, years come and go, you know. It's like it's just all goes by in a quick flash. So besides getting to see your partner run around in a, in a dress... Uh, what is it about Armory reunions that you enjoy coming to? I think I, I, the camaraderie, the, the people you know that, that remember the good old days, things the way they used to be. Uh, I think uh, you know a lot of us you know kind of got ahead of the times and we forgot you know where we stood a lot of the times. You know, it's like it's a good time to get back together and just remember who each other was. You know, right? It's the old friends. It is. It's the old friends, the old times, the old places. We get to get together and have a good time and you know just kind of reminisce little bit. Excellent. And um, now, were you ever an armorette? No. No. I, I helped out a lot with him and uh, did a lot of volunteer work with him uh, doing and, the security work. And by volunteer work, you mean bending over in the dressing room? <laughs> and they needed a nice, something nice to look at every once in a while. I see. Yeah. I see. So you've had a little bit of history with some drag queens. Oh, yeah. You've had a little bit of history with the armory. And now you're here at Amsterdam celebrating. Um, it looks like you've got a Two cups there. Is yeah. This, is, are you on multiple cocktails now? Multiple. Multiple. Absolutely loving it. So do you remember Mitch, the bartender who's serving in here? Yes, I do remember Mitch. Mitch, Mitch was the one of the first ones that actually served me during uh, my first year over at the Armory. So that was pretty interesting. I didn't know that he had a history of serving 12-year-olds. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. He does uh, quite fondly, actually. Fondly. <laughs> Fondle. Fondly. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Mitch is a great guy, man. He's been around for a minute, knows a lot of good people. Uh, we appreciate him being around the community, uh, just just like a lot of the bars in the area, like uh, a lot of good camaraderie and a lot of good people in the area. So, you know, we all kind of stick together. Well, we're glad you're here to share a little bit of time with us and, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about your history with the Armory. And uh, I guess your partner's going to be going on stage in a few minutes or? Oh, yeah. I can't, uh, can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. And what is his name in drag? Nurse Holly. Nurse Holly. Hmm. Seems like we've already talked to Nurse Holly. Oh, yeah. So we got, a, we got a little bit of history from Nurse Holly, and now we got a little bit from you, and we'll see if we can put them together and find out. Did you all meet at the Armory? No, actually, we met through uh, mutual friends back uh, probably eight years ago. All right, then. And you're still together? Yes, we are. All right. Strong and solid, man. Well, it seems like the Armory has a good promotion for building solid relationships. Right, uh, and they, they keep bringing you all together at least once a year, plus they do the Armorette shows at various venues around town over you know, the course of the year. Oh, so exactly, exactly. There's a lot of excuses to connect with old Armorettes and, and Armory staff and everybody else. Oh, exactly. We have a great time. Well, I see your cocktail's running a little low there, so I'll let you get back inside and refill that, and then uh, put your hands together for your partner and the rest of the Armorettes. Beautiful. Sounds great. Thanks Thank for sharing the story with us.